Premier Christy Clark has pulled the plug on an unpopular provincial policy which requires you to pay when you park at a BC provincial park. As of today, free parking signs are going up and those dreaded ticket machines are coming down. The province instituted pay parking back in 2003 and visits to provincial parks saw a dramatic drop in the years that followed. But today, the parking fees were eliminated just ahead of the busy summer travel season. All part of the celebration of the BC Park system, our Mid-Island Bureau Chief Jonathan Bartlett joins us now live in our Nanaimo newsroom with the story. Jonathan. Hudson, it wasn't a lot of money, a dollar an hour, three dollars a day, but it adds up. And many people said, as British Columbians, we already pay for our parks. Well, now they are ours again to enjoy for free. Visitors to Rath Trevor Provincial Park in Parksville got a pleasant surprise today. Oh, I think that's fabulous. It's awesome, just in time for summer. No more parking fees. The machines for payment are veiled in black plastic. They'll be removed later. Premier Christy Clark and Environment Minister Terry Lake made the announcement in Mount Seymour Provincial Park this morning during the launch of BC Park's centennial celebrations. Today, on the 100th anniversary of our BC Parks, I want to make it a little bit easier, just like it was when I was um, a little girl traveling with my family from Burnaby, all around British Columbia, for families to experience BC Parks. And so I'm pleased to announce that effective today, parking in BC Parks is going to be, once again, completely free. It's part of the Premier's Family First agenda. It reverses a very unpopular initiative introduced by the Liberal government in 2003 often blamed for keeping people away from provincial parks. Our provincial parks are made to be enjoyed by all British Columbians, and they are an essential part of being able to enjoy life as a British Columbian and as a family. There were 41 provincial parks that had these parking fee machines. They brought in a million dollars per year. Most of that money was used to maintain the parks, although some went to general revenue. Clark says BC parks will continue to be appropriately funded insisting the move will increase visitors, which in turn means more tourism dollars. Making parks more accessible is going to support lots of jobs across British Columbia. Visitors to Rath Trevor Park today were happy with the change. I guess it'll make it more accessible for families and people to come down and enjoy the parks a little bit more. I think that's really nice because they are provincial parks and they do belong to us. So certainly so help save the pennies when you're on a, a tight budget when you're traveling. <laughs> yay! <laughs> Temporary yay. Until they put them back in when they can't afford toilet paper. Now this announcement doesn't affect parking fees in federal parks. The fees at Long Beach, for example, are staying put for now at least. The province also announced today a $500,000 community legacy program as part of the BC Park Centennial to be used to improve parks in the province. And community groups can also apply for funding up to $20,000 for projects like trail enhancements and park improvements that support recreation and, and uh, conservation. Hudson? All right, Jonathan Bartlett reporting. Jonathan, thank you. You're welcome.